welcome to Charlie Old Road in Bolton. We're looking at this beautiful red brick terrace, large garden fronted position, stone railings, front gardens laid to lawn. Brickwork looks in superb order. Nice path. A spin round so we get our bearings. So this is the, the front garden of course. Uh, Gaskell's private nursery is just on the other side. We are only a short walk really away from the town centre of Bolton, the university, train station, shops, restaurants, etc. Very, very easy to get um, onto the motorway via St. Peter's Way. Um, whereabouts we are here on uh, Charlie Old Road is, there's a bit of a mix really between, this is residential property of course, uh, but there are commercial properties nearby. Uh, even next door I think is his offices um, so we'll have a look inside there we go into the vestibule lovely arched double glazed window over the entrance door and then we're through and into the reception hallway and I shall show you the lounge and the dining room in just a moment. This is the dining room. Feature wallpaper to the chimney breast and the feature fireplace. Beautiful central chandelier. It's worth looking just through here because and loads and loads of understairs storage space. Just put this light on. Oops. Sorry, it's that one. So this goes right back under the stairs. Loads and loads of space. And from the dining room, we'll walk into the kitchen, which is absolutely gorgeous. Quality, professionally fitted kitchen with a superb range of matching cream drawers, base and wall cabinets, contrasted with the chrome style handles and with the work surfaces in a darker shade of wood brown almost and old cold suggesting it works very very well um, it's very very stylish contrasting wall and floor tiling we've got integrated oven grill four in gas hob extractor fan over the top stainless steel sink and drainer. This just shows it from the other angle. So double doors back into the dining room and then sliding doors into the lounge from there where I'll show you in a moment. But we'll spin round and we've got the benefit of a downstairs loop extractor fan at the top so ideal to have downstairs convenience I'll pop this light off and we'll go out the back and have a look at the back garden so it's a little bit damp and a little bit drizzly today but this is Lovely space to sit out. Oh, look, that's some flowers falling over. Let's try and stand it back up. There we go. That's nice. So there's 
space to sit out. We've got a roller shutter door for the off-road parking. Our clients advise us that they park two cars in this space. Uh, we've got a shed, of course. I'll go down to the bottom of the garden and look back up at the property because it just shows you how big it really is, in all honesty. You don't get a feel for this when you stood at the front. So it's very, very large property. Outside tap. And we'll go back inside and get out of the rain and I'll show you the living room and then we'll work our way upstairs. So we're back inside, out of the rain, through the kitchen and then into the dining room. And I'll walk you through and show you the living room. So it's sliding double doors off the dining room into the living room. We've got the UPVC bay window at the front. Lovely black marble fireplace with an attractive mantle and surround. I'll go into the bay window and turn it round. Loads and loads of living space. Very tastefully done. again when we're upstairs. So as we work our way upstairs, the landing is a fantastic size. I'll show you that from there. So that's down the stairs into the hallway. We'll walk towards the front of the property and then I'll show you the full length of the landing. As you go all the way back you can see the shower room that's at the far end. But we'll Spin around and we'll look at bedroom number one first. So we've got double bed, two UPVC double glazed windows to the front. And one of the interesting things we've got here is it is superb space. But look, we've got walk-in wardrobe. Really, really useful. I won't dwell too much. I'm showing bits and pieces that are in there, but it is fantastic space. And there's plenty of natural light coming in. I haven't got the light turned on in this room. So as we come back through, we'll look at the second bedroom next. Again, it's a good size double. Really, really generous proportions. Feature fireplace. We'll go back out onto the landing, have a look at bedroom number three. Previously been used as a home office, but a you know a good size bedroom nonetheless. The bed could go in a few different orientations. This gives a nice aspect over the back garden as well. So this perhaps give you bearings for the seating areas down there. Um, the roller vehicle gate is at the back. We'll come out of the third bedroom. And then we'll look into the shower room. The shower room is of a really good size. It's an oversized shower cubicle, curved with electric shower over. Giving a three piece white shower room suite. And in that cupboard there is the concealed gas combination central heating boiler. And then just so you've got your bearings, that's where we are overlooking the rear garden and the parking. Absolutely superb property. 
to be honest, you just don't realise quite how big it is when you look from the front. Would make a wonderful family home, uh, perhaps subject to any permissions or regulations that are required. May even be potential to convert for a commercial use. Any questions whatsoever, please give us a call on 01204. 381281 01204 381281 and we shall do our best to help. Thank you so much.